Welcome to Chicago. This is Barstool Outdoors, and I like jump out of the fountain. <laughs> that would actually be great. This is Barcel Outdoors, presented by the 2022 Toyota Tundra. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Barcel Outdoors. I'm here in Chicago and Lake Michigan with my friend Alex Perrick, and I'm trying to catch a small mouth for the first time. Does that sound right? Small mouth. Small mouth. Do it again. Small mouth. <laughs> small mouth okay. bass. They're native to uh, Lake Michigan, and they're actually becoming more and more popular because of the gobies that came into this lake. They're not natural, and the smallmouth feed on them, and they're getting really big. You can catch a fish all the way up to five, six pounds. State record's what? Seven Eight. pounds. Seven? Yep. Honestly, odd enough, it was caught right here. Right here? Right here. This spot, um, they come in and feed in the fall. But right now, we're dealing with fish that are kind of coming in and spawning. They're up shallow. They're doing their thing, and we're going to hopefully... Catch them on their beds. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get my first smallmouth. City living, city fishing. I'm sweating my balls off, I do know that. This is a pristine hoodie. It's meant for uh, not 80 degrees though. This is my first time uh, fishing Chicago. Public waters, Lake Michigan. It's super fun because you get to see the city in the background, but yeah, it's- Yeah, Soldier Field right there. Probably the most pressured body of water. Eh, maybe not, I don't know. There's a lot of people that know about this, and there's a lot of people that think that there's only carp in here, and they don't realize that the smallmouth migrate in from way out there to come and spawn. <gasps> Holy cow, look how clear it is. I'm kind of surprised. Is it usually this clear? That's another thing that people think it's like super polluted, but it's got some of the cleanest water. You see water. at the very bottom. Look, I can see, okay, so this is about eight to 10 feet deep. I can see all the way to the bottom. I've never fished Lake Michigan besides for salmon in Michigan. So this is a first for me. Alex is showing me the ropes. I texted him this morning. I was like, hey, Alex, where's the best places to go fishing? He's like, wanna go, I'll take you today. I'm like, count me in. Yeah! First fish. Alex! Little net rig right on the bottom. Didn't take too long. We're just gonna do a, oh, lost him. You schmuck. Okay, this is the first Lake Michigan smallmouth bass I've ever seen, and he lost it. Where was the net? We didn't bring one, because we're not amateurs. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting spot, because we have a, I don't know, three foot ledge. Anything over about two pounds, I might jump in for, you know, if it's, if it's worth it. That fish wasn't even a pound, so I'm not gonna jump in for that one. We haven't caught a fish yet, no I just spotted shit. my- <laughs> Oh, I, I don't, I mean, I haven't physically met you, but I know, I know who the hell you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck on the, on the bass. I mean, should, dude, there's a whole bunch. Of them. Well, Alex is popular, obviously, but we just pulled up in our 2022 Toyota Tundra. I came down. Alex was commenting on how beautiful it is. Absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking. We love the Tundra. But now it's time to catch some smallmouth bass. My first time ever here fishing Lake Michigan with my friend Alex Perrick, and we're ready to go. Let's do it. A lot of carpet. What kind of carpet here, Alex? I didn't hear you. Good talk. Alex, what kind of carpet here? Carp, common carp. Supposedly the Asian carpet made it in here, but I've never seen one. Not. I don't think he's interested. Pop it on the bottom, pop it on the bottom. Yeah. What we're doing right now is catching bed fish, so. These smallmouth, according to Alex, are just now coming in to spawn. Lake Michigan's obviously very big. The water takes a little bit longer to get warm. I'm trying to catch my first smallmouth. My first legit smallmouth. I caught one on accident in Arizona and it was probably not even a pound. I think one of the keys in Lake Michigan, especially this time of year, is to just keep walking, look around, look for fish. The water's so clean and uh, it's a good way. Like when you see a fish, it just gives you confidence that there's fish there. Yeah, and I like it. If you don't have a boat in Chicago like me, you can actually walk around. Chicago while people are running or eating lunch. 
catch some fish. And if you get a big fish, sometimes a crowd will like form and like cheer for oh, you wait, and stuff. Show. Fish. So make it cast like right, right, right there, there and it's like just drop it right there. Okay. Right here? Yeah. First small mouth, and unfortunately, it got off. It was it Alex's fault? I don't know. I don't think we can call that one caught. No, the, I hooked into my first one. I'm sweating my ass off though. Oh! Ooh. He's mad now. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, he just, he just ate something. You guys see that? No? That fish just ate a small little guy. Oh, he ate another fish. Yeah, I just watched that happen. Backing up from you. Oh, do you see him? No, you got it. Is it illegal to bowfish this? I think you can't have like a fire, uh, like a weapon in the city. <laughs> like, yeah, it's probably, it's <laughs> probably true. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> Oh, he's back. Dude, that thing is Dude. huge. Dang it. He had me in his mouth. He just tried to, tried to hit me. Hi. Bass. Yes, and I just about had one. Alex! Yeah, I'm using a purple one. A little bit easier to see. I put a heavier weight on. Oh. Oh. Sometimes if you, like, even a little bit heavier bait in there, it sinks faster and you can rip it hard and then it just gets confused and slashes. We gotta show the folks what a smallmouth looks like. Yeah, we do. Are you guys gonna cook it tonight? Cooking? Are you gonna cook it? We'll probably catch and release it, to be honest oh, okay. with you. Like little explorers. Alex is on a, on the move. My little legs are trying to catch up. Sean's blocking the way from runners. And uh, a lot of different kinds of people here. And I think we're the only two in about a mile that has a fishing pole in the hand. This is a city bike that unfortunately didn't make it. <laughs> I would like to know the story behind that one. I would say some liquor was involved. Right there, right there, right there. It's a big fish. What is that? You got one? Nice, Alex! Yeah! Yeah, we gotta land this one. Woo! Whoa, you landed it! Yes! So right there. Alright, what? That's about what, a pound and a half? Yeah, pounder. Beautiful colors though. Gonna unhook them there. How'd you catch them on? Caught them on a little swim bait with a little uh, head spinner jig and frostbite. And, yeah, there we go. Okay, finally we caught one. We can ch chill out a little bit now. It's like we did an intro and we're like, we don't have any catch fish yet, so we made it happen. And there we go. Voila. That was cool. We're two? 0 for 2. 0 so for 2. We're 1 for 3. We hooked in, we each hooked into a smallie, and we both did not land him. Or her. But yeah, cool. Got we're that out of the bed. We're on the board. Way to go, Alex. So this is like super unique. I've never experienced this in my life. We are walking. What is this? We just passed the 
Shedd Aquarium or whatever it's called. See, I'm not a Chicagoan. No, no, that's a field museum. Oh. No, no, that's a Shedd Aquarium. Are, don't you live here too? <laughs> okay, well, apparently it doesn't matter if you live here or not. We just passed the Shedd Aquarium, now we're on our way to Navy Pier. Yeah, so I've never like done this before in my entire life. Like, everybody is stopping and watching. It's kind of like, unique. People probably have never seen a fish actually get caught before in their lives. Weird, I don't know. <laughs> that is so cute! Look at him, he's looking at us. Alex is a good guide, mainly because I get distracted e easily. Like the dog back there, he's already 50 yards ahead of me. Alex is uh, like the go, 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 and I'm like the whoa, wow, did you see that? Or welcome to Chicago, this is Barstool Outdoors, and I like jump out of the fountain. <laughs> that would actually be great. Oh, are those fish? Yeah. Oh, fish. <gasps> you got it? Yes. Got one. I got him. That's a good one. <laughs> that a good That's one? your biggest one yet. That's two pounds. <laughs> two pounds? <laughs> Can we just take a look of my surroundings right now? Okay. Well, this is awesome. About two about two pounds small mouth. My first one ever. And they're spawning, so I'm gonna get them back in the water fast. But holy crap! Yes, I want a picture. Wait, did you just catch that now? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Congratulations. That's cool. What is it? It's a small mouth bass. Small mouth bass. Wow. So. So they're spawning right now, so they're up in these beds. That's pretty cool. Have you ever seen somebody catch a fish before? No. <laughs> really? Not here, no. Not here. <laughs> the cool it? part was I skipped right over that, me with my uh, my super fast sneakers on. I'm just keep on moving. And Sid, Sydney just like saw that fish, caught it right away. I passed right over it. Alex. See another one? Yeah. You see him? It looks like a nice fish, dude. Yes. Let's go, Sid. Oh. Alex. 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 Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another nice one, yeah? Yeah. Oh my gosh, a three pounder. Okay, now we're just going up. Now I'm getting really excited. Holy crap, that was right next to him. Alex didn't even see this one. He's the one with the polarized sunglasses on. What the heck? Hey, I'm just glad you caught it. Beautiful fish. Um, what, what is this called? That's an indestructo bug. It's just a small med rig bait that's made out of a plastic that we kind of developed that keep on using it. This is, we haven't had to change it, but it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. Won't break. Won't break. I think I got it down a little bit. Yeah, that was, did you see him eat it? Yeah. yeah. I can tell like which ones are fired up compared to the other ones who don't really want anything to do with it. And I feel like these ones probably haven't gotten caught, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're outside of the harbor now. We're like kind of on a main, main break wall and it's harder to see the fish here, which they're bigger too. They haven't been messed with. It's key to keep moving. Like you could get stressed out by keep on fishing a fish that won't bite and you go 100 feet down the wall yeah. and there's a fish that will just eat it right Yeah, there. and these ones obviously have not, like you don't see anybody fishing over here. Like they would just like use this as a walkway, but let's go, let's go, let's do it. I think there's a fish down here. Oh my gosh, he get came it? out and just smashed. Oh, I see him. He's right there. Wow. Oh, look at this one. Look how pretty this one is. See the colors? I'm bring him to you. Yeah! Beauty! Look at him. Delaying right on his bed. I'm I'm snagged. This Sydney's catching him. The reason why we saw him in the her in the first place is because she came after Alex's bait. Down the hatch. I Dude, like... this is really cool though. Yeah. It's perfect for smallies too. Yeah, so you don't have to go through plastics as much. It's better for the environment. Yeah, so they don't just like bite it off and then it, you have to get a new plastic. This is cool. Four fish. And uh, we're gonna keep moving. And <laughs> it's not over yet. Yeah, but well, everybody's very nice. I was shocked. Yeah, we haven't ran into an animal rights activist yet. You, yeah. What are you doing? Well, at that point, it's just like, all right, we'll fly it right here in front of you. Yeah, I mean, 
Right now we are, I'd say 100 feet right around this bend is where Navy Pier is. It's where the Chicago River comes out as well. We might take a cast around there, but my hot spot right before dark, might throw top water. Ooh, okay. Uh, is right over the other side of the river. So that's kind of what's going on. Just doing a little retide, checking the line. My dentist wouldn't be happy with me. Actually, we did our, our fishing video together when I was just started like really liking to bass fish. Uh, how old were you? You just graduated college? Or was that? No, no high you were school. still. 19 and 20. I'm 24, he's 25. You were thinking you were going to be a nurse. I, w I am a nurse. You didn't have any aspirations to do social media. Yeah. Now, full circle. Full circle. Not a nurse doing social media. Like, social media, you kind of got to take advantage of it when you're in your prime. Oh, for sure. Like, I'm, I just turned 25 yesterday. Woo! Alex, Alex you're still in your prime. <laughs> it's getting, the days are dwindling down fast. You guys saw, replay the first clip of me trying to flip that smallmouth. Woo! Lost him. You schmuck. Just butcher job. No way. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Look, 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 look. Watch. Watch. Damn it. It's not very big, but it came up for it. I don't know where he went. Got him. What? Oh. Whoa. And getting smaller, but it's okay. We're still catching them. It's about quantity today. I've never caught a smallmouth bass before. Well, you caught your biggest and your most. Yeah, my biggest and my most. A three pound smallmouth bass. I'm happy about it. Down the hatch. Let's move on. Pick out the John Hancock among all these buildings behind you. That one? Which one are you pointing at? What is the distinct feature <laughs> on it? The tall one? I'm gonna say it's the one with the two antennas. The, the two antennas? Yeah. Alright, leave a comment below. Who do you think is right, guys? <laughs> we both are wrong. He also didn't know it was I right. Didn't know, I didn't know for sure. But well, that makes it feel a little bit better. Yeah, yeah so suck true. it, Sean. It's been a long day fishing. Alex and I caught a lot of smallmouth. Not a lot, but a good amount. I only, I only caught one. You did all the catching. We, went, we did some fishing. Alright! Woohoo! Oh, hi! Hi. What about the big booty mix? Oh, yep, yep. Big booty mix? Oh, out the back. Big booty mix? Big booty mix sounds good. Well, that's a wrap, people. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and we're out. Peace. I caught a couple. I think I outshined Alex, the pro, here in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, follow Barcelona Outdoors and Alex Perrick on all socials and YouTube. Peace, guys. Thanks for having me, and uh, it's always good fishing with you. Yeah. Next time. Till next time. <laughs> what? Is that you? That was the speaker, dumbass. Is that you? What do we want? She's